Jim Kramer's here. He's written a great piece on real money about what to do with oil. And Jim, one of those stocks is one you haven't talked about actually in, in quite some time, WPX Energy. Uh, when I was uh, touring Continental Resources during the heyday of the Halcyon period of the Bakken, it was uh, Mr. Moncrief, who was uh, M-U-N-C-R-I-E-F, uh, showed me around. That's because while Harold Hamm is obviously the guy who created Continental, it was, it was Moncrief that was really running Continental. He moved and created this WPX. He's got his cost down to 10 to 11. Now, you could argue, well, wait a second, is that all in with the leases? whatever, but if you go over his comp school, he gives you a path out. Basically says, listen, we can make a lot of money here. There are, RBN has been doing a fantastic work. That's Rusty Brazil does the domino effect. Talking about the idea that maybe there are oil companies that do, you know, they got to keep pumping, they can do well. All I'm saying is, is that if oil goes up, uh, you probably want to do, uh, if you want to spec, WPX is your play. Because I feel I really like what they've done in terms of asset sales and what they've got. But that's a spec. It's a spec. And people are speculating with Chesapeake. I don't like that because it's natural gas. WPX most has got a lot of oil. Um, and be careful natural gas. Take a look at what happened with Southwestern Energy. It's just a disaster. So be aware, WPX, interesting way to spec. But in the end, we are producing almost the exact same amount of oil that we were doing in November of 2014 when the drop-off first started. There's too much oil. Not enough is being used in terms of gas. You're just playing with fire. Every Friday, there seems to be a short squeeze oil. We're experiencing it again. Don't get too cut up. At 34.35, you're going to see a lot of oil hit the market from a lot of companies like WPX that want to be able to sell in order to raise, uh, raise some money. New Field, that deal worked very, very well. That's because that's oil. Cabot, that deal didn't work that well because that's natural gas. Uh, Devon worked well in part because they priced it so long, so in the hole, and Devon had a decent quarter. There's just equity offering after equity offering after equity offering. Eventually, the market's going to get tired. If oil goes back down to 30, you're have to sell all these. But I've got to ask you about Occidental Petroleum, because you do hold it in the charitable trust. The ones that can pay the dividends, Occidental is probably the most conservative. They never really believed. EOG, by the way, Mark Papa, watch it. He's going to do an equity offering to be able to buy a lot of the properties that he thinks is going to be uh, thrown away. He, uh, EOG, was he was another guy who wasn't that bullish. The guys who weren't that bullish and conserve capital, they are the winners. Exxon wasn't that bullish. Chevron was got a little less bullish. They have some big properties coming on in Gulf of Mexico. And Occidental wasn't that bullish, and those are the winners. Jim Kramer, thanks so much. I'm Rhonda Schaffler for The Street. To get more of Jim Kramer's investing ideas, as well as a peek at other stocks he owns in his multi-million dollar charitable trust portfolio, subscribe to Action Alerts Plus. Sign up for Action Alerts Plus at GetKramerEdge.com. That's GetKramerEdge.com.